Yeah, the monkeys and their back, have they changed? We shall see. Welcome, please, the monkeys. <laughs> Peter, <laughs> put on those glasses again. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, Mike, you're very welcome. Please sit down. Oh, make yourself at home. <laughs> <laughs> Have they changed? Is this, li <laughs> is this licorice? <laughs> <laughs> hey, look, it's great to see you guys back. I, the first question I have to ask you is why? Why are you doing this? Why are you putting yourself through all this stuff, going on the road, doing... What do you mean? Are you kidding? We were asked. <laughs> we were told the only way we could get on your show is if we got back together, so that's what we so did. So that's what you're doing, you're right. Why do you put yourself through this murderous routine yeah. week after week in front of all these critical people who I'll obviously tell you know what a fake you are for not playing your own instrument? <laughs> I get to meet living legends like yourself, that's why. Huh? That's really the oh, reason. Oh, thank you. Nice. Can, I, can I bring you... Can I bring you... <laughs> <laughs> it's a little bit like being entombed. Uh, we, were, we were asked, basically, by the fans, you know. Uh, there was a demand out there, and finally we just couldn't say no any longer. Isn't it true that the, the, the TV series has been running somewhere in the world ever since the demise, the, the first demise of the monkey? I think. Botswana, <laughs> I think. <laughs> yeah. Um, how did you guys end up in the monkeys? I mean, the monkeys was a kind of creation of another mind, Mike. Is that oh. so? Oh, it's all right. Did you take that one, Mike? Yeah, it was a. Uh, it was a, the well. The monkeys, of course, is not doesn't really exist. The monkeys is a is a make believe band that there was a television show about a, an out of work rock and roll band, and we were the people who were selected to play the roles for the members of that band. And just over the years, it just took on a life of its okay, own. Okay, but how, how, how did you all get in? I mean, did you have to be actors first, Entertainer. musician second, or musician first, actors second? Entertainer. Entertainer. There was, a, there was an ad put in a paper in Los Angeles in the Daily Reporter that said they wanted four boys to act in a TV show about a rock and roll band, much the same as uh, Richard Lester did with the Beatles on A Hard Day's Night. And we somewhat copied that idea. Uh, that wasn't the Beatles' idea. That was Richard Lester and the studios. And they were put into that. And then people identified with them during a hard day's night, much the same as the monkeys. We were musicians and actors working in different areas of the business, and we were put together through these auditions, and, uh, and uh, we've been together for 30 years. Okay, so you'd, you'd already been on the stage at that point. Yes, I have. Right, so, so this is the acting thing for you more than the singing that brought you in? No, I was acting on a, uh, you a had show. Another, you? I was in a show on Broadway. Uh, Mickey was had his own TV series, Circus Boy. These guys were working with bands and different uh, uh, recording companies, and we were all put together. And it was cast a lot like you would cast a musical. Hmm. You had to act, sing, play an instrument, improvise, dance, do move. windows, do windows, do windows, <laughs> <laughs> a law degree, yeah. all those things. Okay, but the series itself, how much input did you guys have? How much were you pawns in the, well, the studio game? More, we had more input as the show developed. Uh, they uh, cast us as well as they could, and then they prepared the way so that if they'd been totally mistaken, they still would have had a, still would have had a pretty good show. And then they watched to see how well we did, the producers I'm talking, how well we did as actors, how much we wanted to contribute. And as we got more comfortable, they gained more faith in us, and we were more and more allowed to behave as we, as we chose. Uh, we had... We would improvise a joke, and they would say, okay, that's very good, but we can't use it because it doesn't further the plot. So we think of another joke. Oh, that furthered the plot. Okay, but we don't have props. So if we could get it all together, then anything we wanted, we could do, basically. Yeah. But it could have been four different faces entirely in the monkeys. I beg your pardon. Right? No, well, I could. No, no, no. <laughs> the point no, the reason is, I heard Charles Manson audition to no, be not yeah, but he failed. That's true. <laughs> he <laughs> he had that, in any case. They could have cast four other people, but that's like saying, would Star Trek have worked without William Shatner and Leonard Nimoy? They mm. could have cast four other people. It probably would not have worked. They could have had two other producers. It probably would not have worked. It's, you know, these things happen in, in a serendipitous kind of way. Yeah. The, in <laughs> fact, no, yeah, no, 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 I, I wouldn't dare. I wouldn't dream of it. Oh, no, please. I, I, right. Right. Mistake, a complete, well, it, 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 it's a little bit like unsettling to have somebody say, well, could have been anybody there, couldn't it? How'd you like it? They say that to me all the time. And how do you like it? And I don't like it. That you I don't like it. There you go. So could, could it be successful without you? Yeah, possibly. It could be, you know, O'Brien Live could, on Saturday night. Could be. <laughs> yeah. It could be, but, you know, you, there's no formula. There's no way you can guarantee. You can't just take 
anybody and put them on TV and expect them to be successful. Yeah. It doesn't look like that. Could be Gag and Quinn live. <laughs> <laughs> That's an in joke. You guys won't get that joke. Um, in terms of what you did in between, I mean, you were hugely successful over a period of, what, 39 months? Is that the life of the first month? Not 15 minutes, I think, was the actual 15 amount. minutes 15. of fame. Mm -hmm. We made 56 episodes of the Monkey's TV show, which took us two years. And then they reran the show in 1969. Oops, for Daisy. And um, since then, it's been, as you say, rerun and rerun. Since then, the records have been played on the radio. The records still sell a million records a year and have done over the last 30 years. And now we're back together with a new album. We just did a TV special in America, which was received fabulously. And uh, we are now talking about doing a full-length feature movie. We're also touring with the Monkees. We're going to be, uh, I believe, here in, in Dublin, Dublin on the 9th and Dublin on the 10th of yeah, March. Yeah. yeah, and so it's a whole lot of things. Over the last eight months, we've had an album, we've had a TV special, we've had a documentary, and now we're on tour. And from there, many, many different doors will open up. Yeah. All depending I'm looking how at, um, interested we, we all stay. You have videos out now. You've got mm -hmm. one and two, which have uh, on each of them three episodes mm -hmm. of the TV series. And it's amazing how fresh it still is. Mm. First of all, the fashions have kind of come full circle. So, <laughs> like you were wearing slightly flared stuff, and that's yeah. all back in again. But let's have a look at, at uh, an excerpt from, oh. from one of the series. <laughs> I gather you were freed from the uh, trains as you're here tonight. So yes, sir. And, uh, and Mickey shaved off the mustache. <laughs> and, and you always kind of got the girl, didn't you, in those episodes? Just for the movies, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> and, well, well, it's not my fault, is it? Our audience I mean, here probably, probably remember the original uh, monkey series, although it did run again and again in between. Mm -hmm. I mean. How many of you were into Mickey here? Come on. <laughs> oh. <laughs> thanks. thanks, Mom. <laughs> and what about David? <laughs> and what about Peter? <laughs> I didn't like that, Peter, did you? Uh, and what about Mike? <laughs> yeah, and a lot of them would have you tonight now, guys, <laughs> if they were left, that's for sure. And which one again was... <laughs> Where are we staying, guys? What was the name of that hotel? What, was the name of that what room were you in? It was the guy over there on the right. Oh. <laughs> and what have you all been doing in the intervening years? Uh, I mean, besides collecting the royalty checks, which were not as generous, I believe, as they might have been, you know, if you'd been in more, more in control of what mm. you were doing. Well, if we'd been in more control, and if we'd, been do if we'd have done it later, the, uh, the contracts got better after, by quite a bit after we did our show. Uh, back then, we were the people. Yes, yeah, right. The shows, uh, our uh, royalties ran out after the 11th time that any given episode was shown in any given market. We still got regular royalties off of the uh, record sellers. Um, and yeah, go ahead, Mickey. Uh, no, about what we were doing uh, in the interim. Yeah, I uh, quite briefly lived in in, Eng in England, and I was a producer, and still am a producer and television director. Okay, and you have uh, daughters in the business. Three. Daughters. Only one is in the business. One in the business, yeah. Uh, Mickey? Four. You have four daughters. Four daughters. <laughs> Three. <laughs> that, that I know of. Come on out. Let's hear Mickey's daughters. How do you have seen her in 57 years? <laughs> Mickey, here's your fourth daughter. <laughs> four, sorry, Three in England. <laughs> one right. in the States. Uh, I have yet. one in the business. Okay, Dave. I, I have four daughters, all girls. <laughs> and for my sins. They say when you're the father of boys, you worry, but when you're the father of girls, you pray. Yeah. Well, I was once a boy. And I, I work in the theater, and I tour and travel and play music with a band, and, and now I'm back with my favorite 
And you went to, you rode through into the GGs, not the BGs. Yeah, the GGs. I, I rode my first winner last year at Lingfield Racetrack in England, and uh, I'm open for any amateur rides here in Ireland. Just uh, call the Jockey Club. I'm a good little jockey. I have a horse running on Tuesday at Lingfield. If anyone wants to look at the car, yeah, what's it called? <laughs> it's called. Do I dare? Mm -hmm. Okay, well here you go, Ireland. Here's a tip for you. It's called Dig Pass. It'll win the 250 at Lingfield on Tuesday. Yeah, we'll, we'll let you know if it does. Yeah. We'll, we'll oh, don't worry. No way. Way. On, on yeah. the 10th, there'll be a lot of dissatisfied punters <laughs> at the point. If, uh, no, no, no. <laughs> you, you're confident. Dig Pass. I, I'm always confident. Yeah. <laughs> However Pe mistakenly. Peter, I, um, I taught school for three years at secondary level uh, in academics, and uh, including being uh, the baseball coach, which I guess is sort of the equivalent of being a cricket coach. Great third baseman. Um, yeah, I play, I play a great third base. I don't play it very well, but the base itself is wonderful. Mm -hmm. um, and, uh, and, and I've also been in, in a number of blues bands and traveled uh, back and forth and uh, uh, like that. Okay, and Mike? About the same. <laughs> yeah, right. I don't recall you being the most taciturn of the monkeys 30 years ago, but you've certainly uh, become that way. Mike also produced, well, he, he wrote and directed our TV special that was just shown in America. And, uh, Which I believe you have a clip on. We have. And, oh, and this is, I'm going to ask, before, before I show this thing, I was going to ask you, when you're, say, 20 years of age, it's easy to horse about and, you know, be silly for the directors. Mm. They tell you to do this, run into mm. The, mm. the tide and then run away from the tide and do all that sort of stuff. Fun, fun, fun. When you guys, uh, 30 years on, are asked to do something silly, I mean, do you say, uh, we're, no, not, we're not really think. asked. We, 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 we talk decide. to each other. We oh, you decide, decide, decide what we, we want to do. That's right. You know? I, mean, I suppose if, when people say, now go be silly, we go, wait a minute, don't, you know. Yeah. But when we say, I think the job calls for us to be silly here, what do you say? Mm. It's easy as pie. Yeah. Okay. Just like that. Well, let's have a look at the latest, latest piece of silliness, or part, part thereof. Well, we can't just let a kid cry like this. We have to entertain him somehow. Hey, wherever there's a cop beating up on a guy, I'm going to be there. Wherever there's the poor and the homeless and the hungry, I'll be there. Hey, what did you do? I did the closing scene from Grapes of Wrath. Henry Fonda's speech It's one of the great scenes in movies. You said entertain. Yeah, but you're scaring him. You, you have to entertain with a capital E. Gonna build the mountains on my little road. Gonna need an onion and a little soap. Gonna build the mountains on my little road. Those aren't the words, are they? <laughs>